Put my feelings on fire. Guess I'm a bad liar. Hi guys, I'm Tana. I just had my birthday, which got me really in the mood to do a DIY summer party video. So anything you could need to decorate a party, I'm gonna show you how to do. Make your party look really cute this summer. If you're still in the market for some more ideas, then check out Leah's video right after you watch this one because she has five more DIY projects for you guys to do this summer whenever you get bored, which is definitely inevitable. So let's get started with this party. For the tabletop fire pit, you'll need a metal bowl and then you have to fill it halfway with some vase filler or rocks. I got this kerosene lantern from Target. I kind of disassembled it and made this its new home. Then I added more rocks to make sure it would be secure in the bowl so it wouldn't go anywhere once we turned this on. So you definitely want to be careful because this is an open flame. Just follow all the directions on the kerosene lamp box in order to make sure you are safe. I had these marble donuts on my birthday and they turned out so great. You can check out my Instagram picture. So to make the icing for this, it's super simple. You just need powdered sugar and heavy cream. You can't use milk or it's not gonna be thick enough. So you wanna just mix that together until you get the perfect consistency. It may take a couple tries because you don't want it too thick and you don't want it too runny. So you wanna slowly add the milk so that you can make sure that you don't have it too runny. So it might take a couple tries, but just keep trying. And then I'm using food coloring and it's kind of like when everyone did water marble on their nails. This is exactly what you're gonna be doing except for with icing and food coloring for donuts. So it's pretty simple and make sure you try to get some of the food coloring in kind of concentrated areas so that it can really show up well on top of your donuts. So I laid them out and then most people think you have to dip the donuts, but that will not turn out a really pretty marble design like this. You have to pour the icing over the donuts so that it coats it with like this perfect marble design and you're just like, how did they get that on a donut? Honestly, this is the best technique I found for this. Dipping was a complete fail, so make sure you pour the icing over and get the perfect consistency for these donuts. <music> Lastly, we're doing a mud cloth table runner. I love this because it doesn't have to be perfect, but I found a way to easily stamp on the color to make a perfect mud cloth. So you'll just need a yard or two of white fabric, depending on your table. Then just take a popsicle stick. You could break that in half. I wanted to use a popsicle stick instead of a paintbrush because I didn't want the lines to be different sizes. So this makes it super easy. I just dip the popsicle stick in paint, do a couple of test um, little stamps, and then I went ahead and started on the piece of fabric. I followed a design that I found on Pinterest for this. Just a simple mud cloth design. You can follow my design exactly with some lines and dots and little arrows, or you can just find your own and really get creative with it. If you're doing this on black fabric, oh, if you're doing this on black fabric, you can use a bleach pen in order to get the white marking. So if you want to do that, I think that would look super great too. But I think that I am just, I'm just obsessed with mud cloth. So take the fabric and fold the other half onto the half you've already painted. So you want to do this fairly quickly and you just stamp it or press it down onto the other piece so that it can create a sort of outline or guide. You don't have to do this. I just did it to save time and then I went back in with the popsicle stick and filled in any pieces that were missing. It's kind of messy and has its own unique feel to it. So I love this party setup. Let me know if you guys got any ideas for your summer party this year. And don't forget to check out Leah's video right after this. You can see her five ideas for DIY projects to do this summer. When you're bored, I'll talk to you guys next Friday. Bye!